Hi, this is Vidya from the Kowai Post. Our own Thalaiwar Rajnikanth is back in the news again. And this after he met about 600 of his fans from various districts in Tamil Nadu at the Raghavendra Kalyana Mandavam. This has uh, given rise to several speculations now with uh, BJP sources also coming out to say that uh, Nitin Gadkari, Amit Shah and uh, uh, the spokesperson of uh, BJP, Guru Murthy, are having talks with uh, Rajnikanth, urging him to to get into politics. So what did he say about uh, uh, his political plunge to the fans today? He said that uh, his endorsement to DMK in 1996, though he didn't put it in so many words, he hinted at that. He said that that was a political accident. It was then that he said that if people were to vote Jailalta to power, no one can save Tamil Nadu. It was after his statement that uh, Jayalalitha uh, faced a de defeat in that particular elections. Rajnikanth also alleged that it was only after this endorsement that people started dragging his name into politics every time there is an election and he had to come out and make a statement that he was not supporting any party. And he also made a serious allegation that after this particular endorsement, there were also middlemen who were trying to bargain with parties and take money from them stating that he, they could sorry the middlemen could get the support of him for the respective parties about politics and uh, the political leaders he said that uh, one could become a counselor he could uh, graduate to become an MLA or uh, an MP or a minister or uh, further up uh, the political hierarchy but what he said is that one should not use this growth as a means to earn money political leadership is something that the growth in the political uh, arena is something that these people should use to serve people and uh, just as many of his film dialogues and film lyrics would have it he again made a statement today saying that his body was just an instrument of god and his plunge into politics will be based on the instructions from him <laughs> Now, now that BJP is causing up with uh, Rajnikanth uh, and all the leaders uh, apparently talking to him, asking him to foray into politics, we should remember that in 2004, uh, Rajnikanth had pledged support to the BJP AIADMK go uh, government, um, not because he was uh, accepting of uh, Jayalalitha, but because of the assurance by the BJP that they would strive towards linking of rivers, uh, going by the the uh, acute water shortage. Just before the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had met Rajnikanth in person and when he was asked uh, what the meeting was all about, he, he simply brushed it aside saying that uh, Rajnikanth was a good friend of his and it was just a courtesy call. And uh, it is also being said that uh, this speculation of uh, Rajnikanth plunging into politics goes to its peak only just as he is uh, about to start a film or uh, you know just as he is to release a film so there are uh, people who feel that uh, it could be perhaps one of his marketing strategies to talk about uh, politics just as he has uh, a movie in the offing so what really can uh, the people of tamil nadu expect from rajnikanth actually the expectation of uh, the people of uh, tamil nadu is much more about his foray into politics than about uh, the release of his films now if at all uh, like he said the almighty gives him instructions to get into politics would politics like it was told by a media in a lighter vein turn into rajnitics